the Magic Roundabout TV series created by Serge Dano was an instant hit when it first aired in France in 1964. One, two, three. In October 1965, the show crossed the channel. Hello, said Zebedee. And became the UK's most loved children's show of its time. Hello, 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 they all said. We, uh, we've got a surprise for you, said Dougal. The key to this plan was Eric Thompson, the children's presenter entrusted with creating the voices for the English version of the show. His brief was simple. Go off with the French series and come up with English words that fit what's happening on the screen. Ah, uh, thank you, as Eric didn't speak a word of French, his new stories were a total departure from the originals. He literally turned down the volume on the French episodes and created new stories that fitted the visuals. Dougal and Brian were camping. Were you a scout? said Brian. Of course, said Dougal. I was a brownie, said Brian. A brownie? said Dougal. You couldn't have been a brownie. You are not a girl. His subtle humour gave the stories a distinctive English feel. Of course, I realise you lack my delicate sense of smell, but surely you catch a breath of something. No, said Zebedee. Nose not working, said Dougal. Never has worked, said Zebedee. Really, said Dougal. And he didn't change his voice for individual characters. The whole show was delivered in the same calm tone. Hello, said Brian. Oh. Hello, said Dougal. Each episode sounded like a surreal bedtime story. Dylan decided he would go to sleep near the beams, and in case they jumped, he said, I'll go to sleep with my mouth open, man. A million miles away from the loud French version. Okay, yes, we're back. Bing, bing, you won't put that risotto down my bush. <laughs> Eric's characters had their own individual quirks. Serge Dano's big-haired dog, Pollux, became... Dougal, a bizarre mixture of a dour Scotsman and Tony Hancock. What's all this? said Dougal. He turned Brian, the slow-moving snail, into a cheerful optimist. Real clever snail, said Dylan. Should go far, succeed in life. Florence became a Christopher Robin-type character, a nod to normality that viewers found it easy to relate to. Couldn't you do some magic? said Florence. With his revoicings, Eric gave the magic roundabout the cult reputation it enjoys today. Play us a tune. Mood's gone, man, said Dylan. Mood's gone. With his mild innuendos and quirky characters, he turned the innovative French animation into an English institution. Good night. You can now see the difference between the English and the French stories by watching the classic episodes included on this disc.